Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are doing well, and I hope that you had a good week last week. I'm sitting out in my backyard. It's a beautiful day. I hope it doesn't rain. And I also brought my vitamin water with me. I'm gonna open it and have some of this while we're talking today. Sometimes this is hard. I hope I can open it. There we go. All right. Mmm, that's so good. Well, in case you haven't noticed, I have been using the word hope quite a bit since I joined you this morning. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to talk to you today about hope. Hope is a very happy word. Hope, most of the time, can bring us joy, happiness, and a sense of peace. And if you look in your Bibles, here's my big Bible, and you count up all the times that the word hope is written in the Bible, it would be over 160 times. That's a lot of hope, isn't it? Well, hope to me comes in Jesus because God sent Jesus to us and we have the hope that we can live a life that God wants us to live because of Jesus. Hope can bring us joy. Hope can help us find joy in almost anything we do. Hope means we are expecting something. And yes, that's true. When we hope and we have hope in Jesus, we expect to have that love and that support. And we always think Jesus will be in our lives because he will be. So when you hope for something, think about how happy it will make you when it happens. I know when I first learned about Jesus, when I was a little girl, and my parents and my preacher explained to me who Jesus was and why Jesus was, it made me very happy. And all through my life, knowing Jesus and knowing Jesus' love for me and my trust in him has given me a lot of hope in good times and in bad times. So, I'll tell you this, boys and girls, never lose hope because hope is a positive thing. Hope is a joyful thing, and hope is what we have in God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want you to hope for something positive next week. Hope that you can help a friend. Hope that you can say a prayer for someone who has been sick or someone who has lost a family member. And please continue to always live in the hope that Jesus is our Savior and that he wants the best for us. Okay? Good deal. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I hope that you are looking forward to the end of the school year. See how happy and joyful that thought is? Okay, boys and girls, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the hope that you give us in your son Jesus. Thank you for the love that he has for us and for the hope that that gives us to be more like him. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, it's been so good being with you this morning. Thank you. I hope you have a good week next week. And don't ever lose your joy. Bye-bye.